Once Human just got a ton of new updates. We also have some brand new developer talks as well as some announcements there. Some additional events to do and those with real world prizes. We'll also go over the major controversy surrounding this game and some of the reviews that are going around. I have some additional tips for you that include pre-registration and a few other things as well as a whole bunch more. What's up world, it's Utopia back in with another video. Today we're checking out all things once human. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. We did get a mini update. Now I'm not exactly sure if this was also on Steam. There is no patch notes as of currently, but we did actually get a mini update to the game if you are using the loading bay launch. Now there's a significance there again. I'm gonna go over all the concern stuff There's a lot of stuff with that. So there has been a mixed review situation over on Steam There's been a ton of controversy with that surrounding the game the policy. There's some stuff there However, it does look like there was some confusion there people have been reading the terms However, they don't apply to most people so we'll go over some of the details there with that So first up we do have a statement here from once human Twitter where they went on here to say they'd like to address the concerns that they see regarding the game's privacy policy and confusion about the use of the net launcher. This statement is quite long, so I'm going to break it down step by step and just go over kind of the essentials. Of course, they say they take data privacy very seriously, and they only use personal data if they have a legitimate legal basis, such as providing requested services or acting with your express consent. However, they want to be transparent on everything there with that. And some additional things with this is there was like some government ID stuff over in the terms of service. However, this only applies to specific regions. This has nothing to do with the local laws of your establishment or where you're in. So for example, if you're in the US, obviously you don't need to provide your government ID. This is something that's actually the case in South Korea. So they're just providing terms there for the local law enforcement with that. Again, for example, this is only applied and applicable to the states or local area that you're in. Which from my knowledge, nowhere in the US does it require you to use your ID for the internet or any games. This also applies to Once Human and their game in general and NetEase overall. This only applies to places like South Korea, which actually do require you to use your online ID or a few other things there to actually use the internet. So again, those are only for local laws. There's just the terms there to protect them. Also, additionally, if you have any problems with the NetEase launcher or you don't want to use that loading bay, you can actually download the game through Epic Games and Steam and they will not require you to download the launcher. This is only the case if you want to play multiple games at once. This is only required to download the launcher if you do it from the official website. And this is just for people that want a convenient way to access multiple NetEase games for their users, as well as being able to play multiple games at once, like on Steam as well as NetEase. I like it currently for myself because I can sit in queue for once human and play TFD. I also played through the loading bay for the beta, which was only accessible through that back then. However, if you don't want the launcher, you actually aren't required to download it. You can just run it through Steam or even Epic Games, which will not require you to download the launcher. They said here they want to be as transparent as possible, and yeah, most of this stuff, I don't know what's going on with their Steam reviews. It seems like it's almost kind of spam there, because a lot of this stuff doesn't even apply to most of the players playing it. Still, I'm glad they're addressing the concerns there. It seems a bit odd that this is happening. Moving on, though, they did actually listen to some player feedback back already including this statement here so there was some issues originally when the game first launched you were only able to create one character and you weren't able to delete that character it was essentially the same as the dragon's dogma 2 situation however near instantly they backtracked on this and the only reason why you couldn't create multiple characters is they had some bug issues there I'll go over that in a second. However, there was a statement over here on the Discord where they went on here to say that they heard the feedback and the devs really put in some effort fixing this issue. You can now create multiple characters. And the reason they initially closed multiple character creation was because the experience wasn't up to snuff and they wanted it to be perfect by August 1st. They said that plan backfired, so they're sorry about that, but they appreciate your understanding as they make the things right for you. The reason this is, is there is some issues there right now. So even though you can create multiple characters, just do be wary that if you buy the battle Pass or any of it seems like the in-game shop cosmetics these won't apply to multiple characters so you're gonna have to either buy the battle pass on multiple characters if you want or just wait for them to fix this with august 1st or sometime sooner again as this post here says that these skins and battle pass currently are not account wide however more than likely this is because of the issue with the multiple characters not being totally up to snuff so that more than likely is the reason with that there since we're on the topic of rewards and the battle pass in general if you want to support the channel and also get yourself an additional 10% XP bonus for the battle pass. That 10% XP also applies to your character in general too, and an additional rare weapon blueprint. You do have to be under level 10 to use this code. It's fairly simple, you just head to this shop icon and then go to the events tab. Under the events tab, it shouldn't say gather
gather friends like mine, it should say something different. But once you click on that tab there, in the bottom right section, you can click on redeem code. You can then plug in this code that I have on screen. I'll also have it down in the description. And we benefit each other. I get some stuff, you get some stuff. So if you want to support the channel, feel free to use my code. I'd appreciate it. We've also had some questions about the pre-registration rewards as well as some the beta rewards. So currently it looks like some people that played in the close beta 2 and 3 did not receive all of their Light Forge medals. However, this again was also addressed in the Discord. They said that the incorrect amount was distributed to some. They're currently verifying and resolving that issue. They will reissue those Light Forge medals that you do deserve. So they ask that you just please be patient there. They're deeply sorry for the inconvenience caused, but they will get that out to you eventually. There's also been a ton of rewards overall, so if you have them, you should check your mail in the top right when you hit the escape button. There were some rewards also posted today as well as yesterday, so if you haven't checked your mail, you probably should. Although it does seem like for some, I didn't receive my pre-registration rewards. It seems like some people haven't received those either. I've seen in chat and in game that you do have to make a mail box, although I still think it links to the exact same thing. You could try making a mailbox, see if it gives you the rewards there overall. However, I'm sure they'll address that sometime soon on why some people haven't received the pre-registration rewards. It seems like most really haven't there, so I'm assuming that those will be addressed sometime soon. Additionally, we have a new developer live stream today, and there's also some free rewards with that. So they're going to be giving out some free gift codes over on their Twitch or YouTube channel. This is going to be happening at 6 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. CST, 9 p.m. EST. So a little bit later today, and that will run for exactly two hours. Again, you can get yourself some additional free rewards there. We also have a guide here for the new mini feaster deviation. Essentially, if you didn't know, the deviations are kind of like pets that you can use out in the battlefield. You do have a chance to obtain this after successfully exploring a mist zone. There's also a paper doll field guide here, which again is one of the new ones. How to obtain that is by exploring settlements, residential areas with defiance in the wilderness. The mini feaster is an attack deviant. It will fire the player and summon tentacles at regular intervals and smash and deal damage in that targeted direction. The paper doll is pretty cool here too. In case of an invasion, the territory's stardust resonator filter or walls and floors will be promptly repaired when damaged. And again, you can put up multiple deviants in your base so you can put those in those little containers so you don't have to just take out one or leave one running. There are ones you take with you like the mini feaster one. The paper doll one will just run in your base. We also have a brand new event with July 10th called Good Job Metas. There's a captain list over on the Discord. You will need a team for this. Essentially, there's going to be some tasks that they're going to give out over the next coming days. Each phase will include five tasks, and each task contain two mini projects, and those will progressively become more difficult. Get some cool team rewards there. I'll link down to the Discord in case you guys want to check out that project there, as well as the captain's list. Overall, that should about cover for today's video. Again, if there is any patch notes, I will try to put a pinned comment down below or link you guys to it. But if you enjoyed today's video, like, like, and subscribe, and to the next one. Deuces.